Howdy, me Flabart here, and welcome. All right, so working with the survival demo, and just hop into it, and you can see what we're working with so far. Put the little crafting area together here. Fixed where now you actually can go into the water instead of walk on top of it. So um, added in the M4 suppressor and scope for it. Plenty of ammo for it. Uh, the Beretta 9 millimeter and plenty of ammo. Uh, let's see, we've got all the other stuff. We've got the shotgun, shotgun ammo, red dot scope for that. We've got some iron bars, large backpack. We've got the hammer, pickaxe, axe, blueprints, flashlight, apples, water, shit ton of logs, and stone. Armor. And whatnot, and some random spawners that are sitting on top of here. So that's what we've got so far. Um, sound attenuation, I still keep working with it, trying to get it right, but at least remember to get the water. So I'll do some more testing later and see about the, uh, the sound attenuation, see if I can get it more in line with working correctly. Um, with all these items that are already here, want to look at redoing the blueprint or the recipe for crafting the crafting bench because as it stands right now whenever you go in and you hit tab you get your your crafting stuff the crafting bench is not among any of the stuff that's right here and you can't craft a crafting bench which is kind of odd and the last time I tried it, whenever I actually put the crafting bench down, and I tried to craft the metal bed, which requires the crafting bench, it wouldn't let me. But it would let me build a furnace. So, I don't know what's going on with that, so... Let's see if we can get that working. So, for the recipes, the first thing that I wanted to work on is in the blueprints. And there was a items and then a recipe folder. Crafting recipes and as you can see these are all the things you can craft and the there is no crafting bench. So let's see if we can go ahead and create this and get it to work. So I want to add a new one so I'll come over here and hit the plus and we'll call this the row name to be crafting bench I would have called it a crafting table but you know a bench is something you put your ass on uh, uh, tables something you put your food and, and tools on all right so the name of it then would be a crafting bench crafted item item count here uh, let's see be one crafting time let's set it to five seconds for right now category is building because the furnace and campfire are both categorized as buildings I'm open up the crafted item so the data table that we want in here is the items list Yep, so we'll go with items list, and the row name that we want is going to be, let's see, stone furnace, I know it's in here somewhere, cooked meat, campfire, well, it's alphabetical order, so it'll be in with the C's, dum-dum, so crafting bench, the crafting recipe. We're going to go from, again, item list, row name, and let's make it require wood. And we want it to cost 10 wood. Sounds good. That's all we really need. So, I would assume that's everything. I don't see anything else that needs to be put in here. Because if I use the... Um, the furnace or campfire as an example. See, these two require have a required um, 
thing, which would be the crafting bench. So we don't need to worry about anything else on that. So we, we should be good. Um, so, okay, let's just go ahead and save that. And I'm going to close that. Now, if I go back in here and play, I hit tab, and you can see crafting bench. Ten wood takes five seconds. So let's go get some wood. Grab off the table there. We'll craft the crafting bench. It takes five seconds. You can see the time is ticking down, and bang, we have a crafting bench. So I'm going to go ahead and get it. And I'm going to come over here and pop it on the ground. Then I know this can take iron bars to make the bed. So I'll just come over here and use my crafting table. And I want to create a metal bed. Requires crafting bench. Um, I hit E and I'm using the crafting bench. But it will not let me. This says requires that, so let me grab some stone. So if it lets me build the furnace and not, oh shit, max weight. Give me a backpack. All right, so now if it lets me build the furnace and not build the bed, so okay. This says requires crafting bench and it's green. But the bed still shows requires crafting bench and it's red. So I can build a furnace which requires a crafting bench. Okay, cool. But why can't I, I build a bed? So I'll just grab that. Lovely. But if I come over here and go to the crafting bench and now it's green and I can build a bed from this one but not the one that I placed down. What the hell's the difference? The, it's okay for the furnace but it's not okay for the uh, the bed. So maybe I just need to look at the recipe for the bed. So let's look at the crafting recipe bed right here and required actor there's two things campfire and crafting bench okay so there's a campfire next to that crafting bench so does that make a difference well, let's find out so maybe it's not the actual um, thing that I've crafted it's the um, the fact that I didn't have a campfire next to it maybe I are just stupid and it doesn't say that it needs that um, as well so I'm going to stay over here and open up the crafting let's go ahead and craft that let's craft a campfire so you can see it puts them in a queue and since I don't have enough weight, pick up none. Okay. So I didn't have enough inventory space weight-wise. So let's split these stone and drop them. Let's split the wood and drop. Okay, so I put the campfire down. And I guess I'm going to have to make crafting bench all over again because whatever it dropped to the ground that's something else I'm going to have to look at if I drop it on the ground then um, can't have it turning into nothing shit put it down backwards alright whatever crafting bench and metal bed requires crafting bench I don't get it I can build a furnace so let's build a furnace. But why won't it let me craft the um, thing there, even though it says requires crafting bench? 
So, let's put that there. Still not letting me do it. So, bed, required actors, crafting bench, and campfire build part. For the hell of it, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that. And got crafting bench there. So let's actually just add the one and we'll do this. Um, we need it from the items. Nope. Um, crafting bench. Let's just do it that way. So now it requires a crafting bench. And if I hit save, his oddball shit, isn't it? So I'm going to grab the iron bars. And go ahead and split it. Because I don't need but 10. Go ahead and grab a large backpack. Picked it up and it didn't disappear from the other one. So split. Drop and split. And drop. So let's go ahead and craft the crafting bench. A campfire and a furnace. Oh, okay. So one, put you down, put you down. Now I go to the crafting bench. Requires crafting bench. Really? I am at the damn crafting bench. This one says it requires crafting bench, but I can build it with no problem whatsoever. I absolutely don't get that. Well, screw you, then... It requires iron bar. And... Five wood. That's fine. Crafting time, damn that, we're going to take it down to five seconds. Until we get it figured out, I want to decrease the time that I'm waiting for a damn thing to pop up. But it damn sure says right here, crafting bench. But this one right over here was still working. So I'm going to grab just what I need to craft the bed over here now that I've changed the recipe and it works just fine. Absolutely don't get it. What the hell's the difference? I was told by the developers of this asset pack that this was supposed to be working fine to add that into the recipe, but obviously it's not. There's something else on the dependency for it that I'm not seeing. So we'll just let that one sit and I'll come back to it later. Whatever. For now, I can just throw a freaking crafting bench on the, on the map. I've already got one anyway. So... Let's actually look at adding something else to the recipes. So we've got the cardboard junk here for the armor. Campfire, furnace, bed, axe, crafting bench. Um, so 
Screw it. Let's look at um, in the world items. See, that's what I was working with was actually putting down the usable, the BP crafting bench. That's what I was putting down. And that's what's actually right there. So if I edit that blueprint, it's actually going to be the same as that blueprint right there. And holy shit, can you have enough junk open at one time? Wow. Okay. So, not player target, player target. Client toggled inventory. All right. So, yeah, I'm not even going to worry about it. It's just not worth worrying about it at this point in time. I will scratch my head and try to figure this out myself later. Unless anybody else has any other ideas on it, I, I'm at a loss on that. So we'll look back at the world items, and we can craft the axe, but what about a pickaxe? So let's add the pickaxe. New. We're going to call the row name pickaxe. And name is right, so the first one that is actually the row name. That's what's going to be right here. That's what's going to be accessible from other stuff. So the data table we're going to work from is again the items list. Yeah, that's fine. And row name is pickaxe we want to craft one we want to take five seconds to do it category is tools I would imagine um, the axe is listed as weapons so I will list the pickaxe as weapons as well and I think we need to have from here we need to have Five wood and screw it. Let's add in um, well, for a pickaxe, I'm thinking we need to add like iron bar. Let's add in two iron bars and five wood to be able to craft a pickaxe. So the way all this is configured, this is really, really easy to add recipes if they work. So in theory, that should work now. So let's actually give it a try and go over here, hit tab, and there we can see pickaxe. Need five wood and two iron bars. Lovely. So we'll grab that. and wood and let's craft a pickaxe all right it is crafting it should go directly into my hotbar and slot number one so there we go we have it equipped does it work on rocks yes it does does it work on trees poorly but yes so we're good so that worked just fine, but why the hell doesn't the crafting bench work? <sighs> I don't get it. But, like I said, I'm just going to skip it and come back to it later. What other recipes should we have in here? For building a certain specific items, like... Uh, we've already got the, the backpacks, the armor, the axe, pickaxe. Um, we need to be able to craft the hammer. So let's do the hammer next. Um, so all we have to do is click here, plus new row name would be Repair Hammer. And I'm probably going to end up changing this name. 
because I don't know what it's actually called. Um, data table is items list, and row name is just hammer. I'm going to leave my information on there, shits and grins. Um, when we're doing it, we're going to craft one. It's going to take five seconds. Category is weapon as well, even though it's technically a tool. I don't see anything else here classified as a tool. So, Except for the loosen up behind the keyboard. He's a bit of a tool. Um... Yeah, we'll try to figure out. Sorry, responding to a question in, in Discord. We need wood. Five wood. And again, I'm going to go with the same thing with items list. But this time for the hammer, let's use, I don't know, five of the iron bars. Or steel bars. Or what the hell were they called? Um... Iron bars. So five iron bars and five wood. I'm not going to worry about adding the crafting bench as a requirement, but let's actually go over here and make sure we got a save done. I'm actually going to, since it's pissing me off, the bed, I'm actually going to remove the required actor off of there and just see if I can still build it down. So if I look at my, my crafting inventory, the bed no longer requires anything, I just don't have the items. So for that one item, I can see, but let's see on the furnace requires crafting bench so that one worked we'll just come back to it and if that ever gets fixed then I'll just update it alright so we can now craft the repair hammer insufficient items oh I picked up a log really stupid ass iron bars are heavy So, yeah, probably ought to adjust some of the, the weight limitations as well, but not worried about it so much right now. All right, we're crafting that. The big test is once it's actually crafted, if we have this, we can swing it. It'll still work if I... Oh, I got an apple from the tree and one log. Let's go check the ability to smack a rock with it, and then we'll check the repair functionality of it. So we can get stone from it. Let's grab a blueprint. Go over here and put a foundation, foundation, and let's see if we can damage it first off. No, um, let me grab. Alright, so now if I come over here, hit Q, I can repair. Insufficient resources, what? Oh. It requires stone to repair a wooden. Um, I don't get that. Why does it require stone to repair a wooden foundation? I can see if I had it upgraded to a stone foundation. But doesn't make any sense. So, repair. Okay. Well, the hammer works. So, what else should we add in here to the recipe list? For crafting items. Would well, imagine we'd want to craft a silencer. 
weapons and stuff like that. But I would think that this isn't rust, so you can't just take a couple stones and and smelt them into iron and then take that um, iron bar, smack it with a hammer a few times, and now you've got a nine millimeter handgun. Doesn't work for me. Would want to come up with something else like a gunsmith bench or something of that nature, but. Um, the one thing we don't have is we can build these lovely houses out of wood and out of and upgrade them to stone. However, there's no lighting. What would it take to actually create a light system? And I'm sure it's going to have to be replicated. It's a whole new item that's not currently in any list whatsoever. Um, there is no model to go along with it. You know, I did add in, I haven't added the Cindy Studio stuff into this project yet. So I don't have those to work with. So I probably should hold off on adding any new custom content, but at least having the ability to craft the hammer, the pickaxe, the pick, crafting bench, the bed, all that stuff is, is now functional. So you can actually craft all of those. Um, scraps. I should probably double up on the um, the amount of scraps here. You know, just so that you know you can try crafting a piece of armor. They're gonna look tacky they're laying on top of each other, but you know what? This is a demo map. It wasn't supposed to be perfection. So you can get um, five small scrap. We'll let you build a. Oh, we have three large for the chest. So I can build the chest piece, the pants. I don't have the items for it now. Need more large. Sexy ass armor in it, boy. You can't get better armor than that. But anyway, that's not the point of this. Is that's gonna end up coming out anyway? Because what's the point of the friggin' armor if it's just cardboard to look at? I know that it's just there to simulate. You can actually craft things that you can wear, but nah, not worried about it. Is there anything else I should add to the crafting and crafting table system? I mean, you can already cook the raw meat. The one thing we don't have at this point in time is any NPCs or AI to, to deal with. And that's a whole different ball game as well. Um, technically speaking, since we already have our characters separately from everything else, we still have the original stuff in here from my other player. So I could technically make a non-player character that just wanders around. So we'll just make an NPC folder. Grab my actual player blueprint and copy it in there. NPC base. And we can immediately dump all this stuff out. And we don't need a follow camera. Don't need a camera boom. So we just got our regular dude here. But did I leave the red man folder in or have I already gotten rid of it? I already got rid of it. Never mind. Um, let's compile and save. All we'd really need to do is... First off, let's set him in there. Let's give him a, a variable of health. And that's going to need to be a float. 
we also need to add another variable is moving and that needs to be a boolean so what we need to do is on event tick this is quick and easy we need to just do this hold down the B key and left click somewhere and it'll drop a branch node out for you so we need to ask is you moving if the answer is true we don't give a shit if it's false we need to AI move to and then we need to get reference to ourselves for the pawn and then for our destination I'm just going to grab a reference from our mesh going to get world location and I am going to get a random point in navigatable radius this is the easy part um, just getting him moving and we'll give him a radius of 10,000 so he's got a pretty wide roaming area we're not worried about target actor yet because we haven't told him to come to us yet uh, one thing that I did do on another project was using this AI move to system was I actually set up for the target actor was the other player character but it also used a branch node to ask if the player's health was below one or was equal to zero or whatever basically to find out if the player was dead and if you were dead then this bot would come from a hidden location on the map walk over to your corpse and revive you and then go back to his little hiding hole because part of the whole thing was when the player was there let's say you, you go AFK for a long period of time what will happen is your hunger or thirst will drop to zero or both will and you'll starve to death or you'll die from dehydration and if you die while you're in a menu then you don't want your corpse just laying there so the medic bot would come out and revive you put you back up and let you go and then if it did it again that's a different story but um, it would actually get rid of your character but it was cool that it, it could either you could you could set it up to be like a a bot system to where it was a medic to where it would come out and revive you or heal you if you got wounded or whatever else Anyway, let's go back to making our, our dude move. On the executable here, we want to set is moving to true because now we are moving. On success, we want to run a delay. Go on random float in range. See if it works this time. I've done this a thousand times, and then the last time I tried to do it, it just didn't work. I don't know if it's a 4.20 thing, or it's just that um, uh, Unreal Engine 4 hates me. So, on success or on fail, we want to then delay, pretty much just stop moving, and then set is moving to false which will then trigger it to start moving again and then we need a volume nav mesh bounds and I'm gonna put that at zero zero and zero and let's go ahead and make it bigger I know you can't see it right now but I can and it's that's all that really matters right now right this is, Essentially, you just want to size it up so that it covers the entire map. If you overlap to an area that's off the map, it won't really matter. For two reasons, there's a blocking volume, and second, um, when you hit the P key, 
everything that now turned that bright green is the place where the bots can travel to. So now we have that. They can roam anywhere on this map. Now we just need to put them in there. So we can actually drop one in here. And if I hit play, turn around, he is not moving. Get your ass in gear. Why are you not moving? It is moving. If it's false, um, set this moving to false. Um, is moving defaults to no. Except things that I, I do a, a thousand times just suddenly stops working. So for now, I'm just going to forget the delay. I just want to get it moving. I don't care what it does. If it's not moving, and it's defaults to no, it's not moving from the beginning. And I'm going to put another one over here just so I can see them without having to turn around. See, he's running just fine. Why is Turd Monkey over here not walking? You know what? Screw you. I'm just going to get rid of you. So put the other one down and it works just fine. What are you doing? Why are you not moving? Other dudes working just fine. Yes, you should work just fine. Put them there and he works. Is there a problem with the locations? So why is it that <laughs> those two are working fine, but these three are not? You know, I was having a lovely time playing my game that I just purchased. No, nope. look. Nav mesh covers the entire freaking map. All of them are within the nav mesh bounds. But you, you just want to stand there. Why are you three just standing there? You can see the, the bright green. That's the, the nav mesh. Anywhere where that bright green is, they will be able to walk. You know, I will go back to the nav mesh and say P and let's make it screw it, 10 high. I'm going to hit P to, to make sure that it's, it's there. So it goes above and below the ground all the way to the treetop. I, 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 I don't get it. Now they're just working fine. But they were within the nav mesh already. Because if they're in this bright green section, they're within the nav mesh. So why they decide to quit working then and start working... Well, I'm just going to shove these guys over and just let them run around. I don't get it. No, it's 4.20. It just does dumb things like that to me. Only to me, though. <laughs> it just seems like... Okay, they're walking. And let's actually make another version. And I'm going to right-click and duplicate. Um, no, I'm going to create a child actor 
and call one a seeker. Now this is a child of the original so from the event tick I don't have to add anything for them to be able to start walking. Um, however I will add in a new component which is a pawn sensing and with that pawn sensing we look at our viewport to compile and now I hit our pawn sensing this is the the bubble at which they can look so I'm going to change the peripheral angle the vision angle to be actually 60 so they need to be looking more or less in our direction to be able to see us so let's hit compile and save and now on this we're going to run off of, we're actually going to do a um, what was it an event on C pawn so on C pawn which is a pawn sensing pawn is going to be oh shit what the hell is her um BP survival character. So whenever it sees us, it want we want it to do the AI move to. No, um, AI move to. And we'll connect the BP survival character up to the pawn and we have our destination let's see target actor not pawn pawn should be self so get a reference to self so whenever it sees the player it then is going to become the target of where it should go to um, right now I don't have anything on on success and on fail but let's just go ahead and I need to do one thing really quickly and let's make a folder material and I need to create a unique character here on my character material I'm going to grab these Actually, yeah, I'm going to grab both of these. And I'm going to rename them. This is our seeker underscore body. And this will be our seeker chest. And I'll go to seeker chest. I'll check this body color value, click here, and we're going to make it red is 1, green 0, blue 0, that's good. And I'm just going to drag this up here so I can save my color, click OK, save. Now I want to go to secret body, scroll to the body color, click here, click here click OK and save it'll automatically apply it come on finish your thing so I can move on we don't need NPC base open come on hurry up and apply and save so now go back to our seeker go to our mesh change our body out and let's type in seeker chest I'm sorry seeker body and seeker chest now we look at our viewport we got a red guy look at our event graph that's fine now let's go ahead and Let's drop one in here and see what happens. 
So, I don't know if you guys can see him. He's running around just like normal. Come back here, you son of a bitch. So, he's just wandering around. He, he doesn't have any specific location to travel to. He doesn't see us yet. We're not in his vision. I want to get in his vision. His line of sight. Come on. Come here, you son of a bitch. All right, he is totally ignoring us. So, um, when he sees the pawn, the pawn is our target is going to be the survival our character, and except the radius destination. Um, actually, let's try this. Get actor location. You wouldn't think that would be necessary, but let's try adding that in anyway. New. Get your ass back up there. And let's add a couple more in. All right, so yeah, I'm probably leaving all something here. Come here, you bastard. Well, he, he turned to me like he was going to do something. So having this large world is probably, or a larger world... Let's actually look at it again. All right, for now, I'm actually going to see what I can do for um, set is moving to true, and false. Just so it can affect his movement a little bit. Just to see what's going on. Alright, so he ran to me like that. and I really haven't defined any true actions for him to do whenever um, he does see and come towards me. So let's see if we can actually break the movement. by doing setting his movement moving to true so he'll just try to come to that location and he should just no longer move so there you go he'll keep following me until until I run out of his vision and escape his line of sight because he's stupid and now he won't move at all he's stuck there until hey I see you and He'll now follow me until I, I can break his line of sight, or he dies, or I die, either one. Oh no, they've all found me. Hi guys, how are you? But, they're kind of stupid. There's no real AI behavior to it just yet. It's just, they see me, they come to me. This is where you'd want to go ahead and add, like, some form of combat. And then also work on their health system. I gave them a basic health, but I didn't define that health. The health should be 100. Since I didn't develop the rest of the, the shooting system, I'm actually going to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to select everything here. Going to right click and I'm going to collapse that to. Uh, I'm going to collapse, just collapse the node. Um, walking junk. So now 
I'm just going to move that over here. And from the event tick, I'm going to go ahead and do a sequence. Now I can just branch right off from there and don't have to worry about that being a dead end. So on the sequence, for now, um, let's just run a branch node and let's get reference to our health. And we want to find out if our health is equal to or less than zero. Less than or equal to zero, meaning essentially they have no health left. Then A, you want to set it to zero. That's something you'd, you'd want to have in there anyway, so they can't go below zero, but that doesn't really matter. Um, for now, I'm just going to run a destroy actor. So let's see if we can affect their their damage, and let's turn off that that, that green is just hurting my brain. So let's grab the shotgun and some ammo. Here's a little cheat for you: grab the ammo drop it onto your weapon and it's instantly loaded. Alright, so that doesn't do jack shit. Try to the regular guys. Alright, so apparently whenever they set up their weapon system, the um, the health that it does, the damage that it does, um, yeah. Let's look at um, holdables and shotgun. Open the damn full blueprint editor. So, if you look here... <coughs> Excuse me. You got ammo. That's one thing. Shooting. Shot per or per shot recoil. Single shot trays. Now fire mode. Sounds, animation, detachments, effects. What the hell's the damage? Using the buckshot. Alright, so what the hell's the damage? So it's not going to show the damage in here. So let's actually look in the item list. And shotgun. Where is your incorrectly named shotgun? There. So, let's see here. Max stack, inventory. Hmm, okay. Apparently it's not in here. all the icons and stuff but contains and sounds and all that stuff is in here but in which icon to use for it the world meshes to use equipped mesh which montage to equip with the holdable class equipment slot description weight all that jazz is in here but not the actual I'm going to close our NPCs down just because they're not necessary to have open. Uh, world items. This is what we were looking at before. It's like a shotgun. That's the actual blueprint for the weapon. So. 
in the non-edit section here. You would think it would be easier to to find damage. Because I need to find out what the damage type is and that kind of stuff. Um, just to see if I can actually inflict damage on our NPC. And apparently it's not going to be in here either. Nothing in construction. Let's actually look in the weapon itself, the weapon master. Uh, got components. And <laughs> might be something we need to look at in the character master. Because we have all the stats over here. player inventory and we got player inventory health is 100 um, stamina 100 but where is the actual health itself what is the type of health so you got bleed damage here damage Well, that didn't help me at all. But it's doing a multicast for that, and it's doing, for this damage right here, target player inventory component. You know, this is just, it's kind of oddball. And your player inventory component. Oh, good God. Could you just not have every damn thing open? You need your event graph. That's it. Use item. Not like there's anything in this thing to look at, you know? Multicast events. So the thing is, when you're dealing with something like this, if I just set up the health system to where it's localized health on the bot, and I shoot him, he dies, he goes away. But in a multiplayer setting, it's got to be multicast. It's got to notify you as well, if you're in, in the game, that this particular bot at this particular location is now dead and gone. So, yeah, I'll worry about the health system later, because I'm going to have to do all the replication on that and I suck at replication and hate it greatly so I will deal with that at another time so is there anything else we need to, to look at and try and activate while I'm here because we go into the map and actually build something and you know get some elevation up to a building and that kind of stuff and for now I'm actually going to go ahead and delete the red guys the seekers because they're going to be annoying as crap they're going to be following me everywhere so um, with the current nav mesh balance that's here well, get your backpack because you need to carry plenty of wood As I build up higher and higher and higher, they're still going to be able to get into my buildings. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just do a 2x2. Two two. And we need ramp to get in. Let's go ahead and put a door frame. And let's start putting in some stairs. I have so many freaking OCDs that I have to build a certain way, even. And we need... So 
So as we start building up higher, if they just happen to get that random location that's actually within this area. Yep, you're not going to let me build here, are you? So if they just happen to, to get the, the point right here, they will be able to actually come up here. They are, you know, the the actual nav mesh bounds extends to the height of the tree level. So as you're building up higher and higher and higher, then as long as they're within, or that spot falls within an, an elevation that's as high as those trees, then they'll still be able to get there. But at least we got a few more things added to the crafting system. See, he's inside the house now. Get out of my house, you bastard. Nobody called you in here. And yes, fall damage is real. Just in case you're wondering. You're in my house. Why are you in my house? Alright, so I have to try something here. Um, I'm going to trap his ass in here. Hey, hey, you're stuck. I want him to go up here and get on the top of the stairs since no longer can he get to his location that he wanted to go to um, so it's gonna fail and then he'll just have to recalculate another point and then as long as it's within that building now he'll be able to get there but see if you mainly pick up your shotgun and you'll have to load it manually So I'm actually going to go ahead and add in some stars. So we know that we got that one guy trapped in there. He can't go anywhere. Well, thank you for the sub. So we got dude trapped in here. He can't go anywhere. Um, let's add in another one of these. Um, I do have a version of this. It's actually on my... Um, oh, shit. Here he is. So the version of this is on my Discord channel. That you can download and play. Now that I know that he is there, I am going to not jump to my death because I'm low on health right now. I am... Shit, I gotta run over here and grab the hammer. Because I want to see what happens whenever I quote-unquote pull the rug from underneath his ass. So is he still up there? Yep, he's still just chilling right there. So if I go over here and I'm going to break out my hammer, he's right there above this section, and I'll hold down Q and demolish that. Eh. Alright, well, let's demolish that one. See, made him fall down. He's like, zero fucks given. Ah, screw you, you son of a bitch, I'm out of here. <laughs> so yeah, I do have a, a version of this demo is available on my Discord. So you'll be able to go to the BBG Demos section on my Discord and download the version that I released this morning. Um, the only difference between what I'm looking at right now and what's available to download right now is uh, I've added the crafting bench, the pickaxe, and the repair hammer is now available in the crafting menu. So that's the only difference and in what's actually on the the Discord to download right now. So anybody that's actually wanting to try it out, um, I will go ahead and do a save all, do a quick run through, and actually, instead of doing it this way, I can do a different way. 
I need to go to the location that I have it stored. I'm just going to move that off screen. And when you download the actual project, it's going to be in a RAR file. You can unpack that, and this is what's going to be on the inside of it. All you've got to do is double click on Survival Demo, and there's a standalone playable multiplayer uh, game that utilizes Steam functionality. So you'll need Steam running in the background, and anybody that wants to join or your your game that you're hosting, or that has hosted a game and you want to join theirs, if you're not in the same region or if you don't have Steam turned on, it will say go connect to Steam Dummy and have this white image there. You'll have to exit the game and ensure that you have Steam running, of which I don't. Nine billion other things running, but no Steam. So this dummy has to go connect to Steam, right? Come on. Come on, Steam. Hurry up so I can close you back down and minimize you. Gee, I don't care. Oh, cool. Go away now. So anyway, now that you have Steam running in the background, when you go into the game, you'll see that it'll display your Steam username and avatar here, and you get the little notification saying you can access Steam community there. And of course, you can't see the, the stuff up here in the upper right-hand corner, because my, my lovely face is in the way. If I actually get in, in frame here. Um, that'll let you know that you are connected to Steam and everything is working correctly. If you want to host a game, you select host. If you want to find somebody else's game, you can find lobby. If nothing shows up the first time, hit that find lobby and somebody has one running. So I can actually join their game if I want to. Who's got one going? <laughs> I'll join their game. I'll just stream snipe. Oh, they said the, the, the cancel it. Okay. Well, I'll host one anyway, so... There we go, and I'll make one. So, just as I decided to join their game, they decided to, to, to exit. I was going to just jump right in your game. So there, I mean, that's it. And this is multiplayer. This is, um, everything is replicated. So if anybody else jumps in and wants to play with you, like I said, they have to be on the same Steam region. Um, the water is fixed. You can stand in the water. You can drink water while you're in it. You've got the shotgun, the M4, the M9, and bunches of miscellaneous items. There's actually going to be stuff here that'll just randomly spawn. Same with here. Um, metal beds, just in case anybody wants to put them down. Uh, plenty of wood. Plenty of stone. So you don't have to worry about harvesting the trees. However, you can harvest these trees. Once you chop them down, they will go away. Um, same with these three rocks. You, you can use your, your tools on them and farm them all the, all the way down. And they can go away furnace you can put fuel in it smelt rocks into um, the iron bars hit tab will bring up your inventory system when you're in like this chest here oh cool I got an apple you want to close all this hit the tab key again same thing for your crafting table hit E to enter it and tab to close it campfire you can cook meat in uh, the building to be able to build houses and stuff like that you're going to need to come over and pick up the blueprints I also suggest picking up a hammer because if you put something down in the wrong location then you can always pick it back up or not pick it up but you can destroy it pick you up a backpack pick up some wood when you're ready to start building hit your button on your hotbar to select your whatever number it is like minus two to have the blueprints in your hand hit F key and hold it down select your foundation and now you can put down foundations to build your house hold down F again you can just move your mouse around and like say okay I want a 
door, I want a wall, I want a window, I'm just going to put down some random stuff here. Oh, I need to put some pillars down just because I'm, I want to go up higher. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and put these uh, pillars down so I can demonstrate the back end of it. So you can actually put down wooden floors. You can put down, there's two different types of stairs. You've got the L-shaped and the return shape. It's Skippy the Evil Clown. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy to your stream and say hello to my stream. Yep, um, Skippy does um, a really good show. If you guys haven't checked out Skippy the Evil Clown on YouTube, you need to check him out. He's a freak like me and uh, you can't help but love him. Well, you can, but I love him anyway. He's like a brother. A really freaky, scary brother. So you got all these different pieces you can plop down here. Plus you got this. Go to your next page. And you can add in a door. Um, window shutters. And you even have a plot pole. Which you can use to... Um, It, the full functionality is not there yet, but you can also block people from doing construction. Or if you're an evil troll and somebody else is building their house, you can run over here and drop that down and run away, and they can't build in that section anymore. And you can run over here and hide. And see, Skippy, I fixed the water. You can actually sit down in the water and, um, yeah, instead of walking on top of it. So you can drink water. All your crafting stuff. Now, um... This version does not have the new addition that I just did, which is adding the hammer and pickaxe and the crafting bench. So those three are not available in the this version. I, I've done a lot of work on the actual sound issue. And look, you can hit escape and go back to the main menu. <coughs> Um, yeah, the sound issue, um, apparently a lot of the weapons and stuff like that were not using the correct sounds. What I saw was, uh, let's see here, let's go into the holdable folders, and let's look at the M4 as an example, open full blueprint editor sounds, it was referring, and it was calling to wave files. It was not calling to the actual, so you got the M4 fire, it wasn't going to the sound queue. So all the sounds were going to the wave files, even though there was already sound queues created, whoever was doing these did not actually link them to the, um, the correct location. So like that right there should take care of some of the attenuation problems with the M4 now. I've already gone through and done the um, eating and stuff like that a couple different times. So yeah, they totally just missed out on putting the stuff in the right location. Um, I went through and in the sound cue folder like eating I created it my own attenuation file setting sh called short attenuation and I also did an override on the attenuation to try to force it into a really small area so only if you're standing right next to somebody will you hear them eating in theory so now whenever you go to the character and hopefully um, uh, let's see here event graph need to find where it's referring to the eating there's a lot of stuff in here um, character movement uh, do, 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 quick use items so I would actually have to go through here and find the actual um, 
the link to where it's actually saying eating and then what happens when you actually utilize it it might actually be in the blueprint for the items so I need to look at that also and like in components or usables no should be in consumables if you would think so it's just a matter of, of going through here and breaking down a lot of their files and trying to figure out what they were trying to do and then finish what they didn't have finished. There will be a patch available soon for this asset pack, so we've got to keep an eye out on that. They're supposed to be able to fix the glitching character. And see, I just put some wandering AI in here and I created a seeker that actually will follow you around, but I haven't done the full troubleshooting to figure out how their damage system works yet so that you can actually kill the NPCs. But you're welcome to get with me later. Um, there is a version for your, your people as well if they want to come to my Discord in the BBG demo section. Let me bring this on screen here. BBG demos on my Discord channel. Um, if you look right here, survival demo just click on that right there it'll take you to a link on my Google Drive and you will be able to download a free version of this to test out which is the version I just showed um, me playing so let's see here let's look in the item list and let's pull up really quickly um, raw meat Where's the apple? Oh, okay, it's the very first one. Duh. Apples. We have our equip item. And let's see if there's any... Yep, sounds right here. So as I scroll through here, sounds. Again, it's not referring to the correct location. It's referring to the WAV file and not the actual... And that that's where the problem was. They were, they were going to the sound wave and not to the actual attenuation. Not attenuation, the actual sound cue. So now by going over here to eat, now, now it should be correct. Drop item is also a wave file. It is not using the sound cue. So this is why it was all broken and the sound was all crap all across the, the board here. So I'm going to go ahead and while I'm in this table right here and I see where it is, I'm going to have to go through on all of these and change the sound wave to the sound um, cue. The sound cue itself now has its own appropriate attenuation and should now fix that problem so thank you for reminding me on that one because I hit dead ends on the last three ways I was doing it and I needed to look in a few more locations and that's what I found so drop item so now whenever I drop a can of beans on the ground from 15 miles away you won't hear it so the same thing with drink <laughs> So I'm going to have to go through this entire list here and and change them all over to... And there's only two item, two things to change, but it's still it's annoying as crap whenever you're sitting here trying to, to do something. You're playing with one of your buddies. Instead of playing with yourself, like I... Never mind. Um, <laughs> you don't have to listen to somebody else slurp a bottle of water or, you know, whatever from across the map. So... I'm just going to have to sit here and go through this entire list and everything that actually has a sound I'm going to have to there's the equips so I'm going to have to go through and do this on everything um, again it's going to be about like you know, watching paint dry but okay I'm going to say this there's a, so much positive about this asset pack from the guys that made it they did such a good job on a lot of other stuff if this is the only 
problem, well, it's not the only problem, but if this were one of the only problems that were annoying me, then no big deal. So let me go back here and check these. No. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have to go through all these and ensure that they're using the um, sound cue instead of the wave sound. So like this, drop item, that's a wave file. Drop item. It's not that hard to do this, and I'm sure there would be lovely if there was a, a way to do this a lot faster, but we want equip. And I guess instead of just doing this one handed and and just scrolling through the list, I could actually type in we're doing EQ and there we go. So I'm gonna scroll back up, get ready for the next one, hit save, click this, D R O that'll make it a little bit faster. EQ -E. So now that we've got these on the sound cues, that is going to fix the problem. Although, as you see, even doing this relatively quickly, it's still going to take me a little while. Because there's multiple sounds per, so... Do you guys got any more questions while I'm doing this so I can be semi-productive? Any other items that should be added to the... Um... Yeah, that would be great. Um, and actually, as soon as I get done doing all of these sound fixes, what I can do is repackage. But for right now, while I'm finishing up this, if you and your um, your viewers want to watch the... Uh, or, or jump in and, and play the, uh, the current version of the demo, um, that's cool. They're more than welcome to get it now because as soon as I finish with this... I'm actually going to delete the version that's currently up there and I'm going to replace it with this version which will fix the sound issue. And also the version that's already on there right now has all the guns. Well, at least, you know, the 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 shotgun, the M4 and the Beretta. Sorry, I'm not going to call it a 1911. I sold my Beretta, my M9, so I can't just pick up an M9 and say, this is an M9 and this is a 1911. But if, but I can do this. Um, they're saying that um, this is a 1911. And open a damn full blueprint editor, you son of a bitch viewport and I have killed the rest of my shit up here. Ah oh, damn it. Um toolbar, thank you. Um All right, audience. Can you see that good enough? Is that a 1911? You know, I could, um, you know, just like change the um, the camera speed, and it would be a hell of a lot easier than being a dumbass and doing it this way. But um, let me do that so I can actually zoom in a little bit closer. All right, so. Is that a 1911? Many might think that's a 1911. The weapon here, I don't know if you guys can see it in the upper left hand corner of the screen, says um, BP underscore P1911. The description for this weapon says 1911. 
all over the place. The description for this has 1911. The ammo for it is 9mm. Okay, yes, there are 9mm 1911s out there on the market. And probably the next one that I'm going to build is going to be a 9mm. However, that, that, that that's not a 1911. This, it's a little dark. Um, well, it's a tactical 1911. Um, this is a 1911. In case you, um, people don't know what a 1911 looks like, um, yeah, there's a thing called Google. I'm not going to handle this one very much because that one is live. So, uh, that's not a 1911. Okay, getting off my damn soapbox. Damn old bastard gets rambling on about dumb shit like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> anyway. So, yeah, these are all sound cues. That one's done. We go to the next one. Yeah, once I get on my my um, soapbox about weapons, um, yeah. You almost got to throw a bucket of ice on me to get me to shut up. Yes, I'm hitting save after I do each one. Because I know me and I know how things are things that just randomly stop working and break and that kind of stuff. So I'll do it after each one or after every other one. Blueprint, drop item. Yeah, something of that nature. Um, the Hotel from the Shining, that's a pretty big building, big structure. And if anybody hasn't watched the movie, I know the movie and the book are two different things, but if you haven't watched the movie for it, the movie shows just how big the damn thing is, and it's a um, damn big hotel, a lot bigger than most people think. Alright, just so you know, this fix isn't going to fix all of the sound files. There's still some more areas where I'm going to have to go through and fix to get, um, this is just for equipping and dropping, um, hell, revisit the, um, the cruise ship, remember whenever I started working on the cruise ship, you don't realize, I mean, I've been on quite a few cruises, and, um, yeah, you, you just don't realize how big a freaking cruise ship is until you start modeling the damn thing in, in a in a game environment. Holy shit. I mean... Um, get this off screen so I can actually go to it. But I started building a cruise ship. And I went and I found a floor plan of one particular cruise ship. And... I started modeling off of that and from my my recollection of the interior and the size and how it felt when I was inside there so that I could try to make it one level at a time uh, I know this is just a picture it's kinda of hard to imagine here but this right here um, this little spot is actually a door um, a regular sized door frame. This is as close to scale as I could get for just one floor of a cruise ship. And this is just the, the bedroom areas. This is where you would have like each of the little tiny bedrooms and, and cabins and stuff like that on a cruise ship. So by the time you sit there and try, and I wouldn't try to do the interior of all the rooms. I'd only make a handful of them actually able to be gone, gone into. But still, I mean, sheesh. Yeah, looking at something on, on TV or in a theater, you don't get an idea of the scale of something like that until you actually start doing it. Alright, so this is going to fix the attach and drop of the items. I'm still going to have to go through and find other locations to fix those as well.
interact. Why? Why is there interact time demo? That's not even a thing. <laughs> so why is there sound attached to drop on there? Holy hell! I'm not even halfway done. Like I said, this is just the drop and equip sound that I'm working on. So I'm just going to go through here and do any of them that I see the drops and attaches. Because this is going to take a while. And my coffee is getting cold. I'll have to go through here and like I said this is just the the biggest ones that we were looking at were eating and drinking. Oh god. So anything that's like eat like this I've got to make sure that I switch over to the sound cue. The drop eh not as that not that huge of a deal. But, holy hell. You know, uh, Skippy and I were, were testing out this um, template um, night before last. And he's on the other side of the map doing his thing. I'm on my side of the map doing something. And then he realized he needs to eat something. And you hear... <laughs> he's on the other side of the friggin' map. <laughs> that sound was horrible. <laughs> Yeah, the, um, doing the Titanic seems like that would be a ambitious project. <sighs> Sorry if you guys had to hear any like gulping noises. Um, uh, but you know it was getting cold, so I had to slurp it down. be interesting there's actually some people that have turned out some pretty good projects out there um, but just the same with all the um so let's actually see what else we got sound wise here no oh, that's it so yeah there's gonna be some other locations where I'm gonna have to dig through some files and fix all the damn sound attenuations. In fact, now I'm going to have to go back through all my sound attenuations and undo some of the stuff that I did because I actually um, didn't need to do the override since I created my own sound cue. I did not need to um, to do a manual override on each one. So all right, we're just about done. Just about done with this part. Already got that on the crafting bench. Bandage. All right, the item list is now fixed for the sound files. But here's the other thing is um I still don't know why the crafting bench isn't working correctly. For now, the bed used to require that you had a um, crafting bench put down. I disabled that because you can now craft the crafting bench, but you still could not craft a, bench, a bed from the crafting bench that you placed down, that you, you crafted yourself. And to me, that was retarded, and I could not figure out, so I said, you know what, screw it. I took out the need for the crafting bench for the bed. Because you could build a forge. The forge said you have to have a crafting bench, but it still worked, but the bed did not. So I just said the hell with it for now. So we have to go through... Oh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through everything. <sighs> I've got now usables should be fine now. Eating should be fine, I think. World items. Um, the equip sounds. Oh, I've already made my own items. I've I've had the um, the pickaxe, the hammer, and the uh, the crafting bench, but the crafting bench was broken. I've even let them know about it, but I've already figured that out long ago. <laughs> that was like two days ago. I figured that out. I'm not totally stupid there, Skippy. Partially stupid, but not completely stupid. Um, but yeah. If you hadn't have been AFK for two days, you'd have known that there, bruh. So it's not in this one. This says soup, but in game it's called can of beans. Make up your mind. Is it soup or beans? It can't be both. If you combine soup and beans, then it becomes what? Chili? <laughs> but still, make up your mind. Is it soup or beans? Uh, where the hell else did I see the freaking sounds? Besides in that. It wasn't in components. It might have been. Um, no. Cold weather. It's been hot as hot as crap here, and air conditioner running off the damn hook. Ready to burn up the frickin' um, the main circuit breaker for, that's outside for the uh, the air conditioning unit. Burned up and had. $500 repair bill. Because it was so old for the uh, the breaker that you couldn't just get a new breaker. You had to replace the entire freaking box. Because they quit making that style breaker like 10 years ago. Like, you really should think about getting a new air conditioning unit. No. <laughs> no. I'm not going to think about getting a brand new air conditioner. As soon as I get the anal lube off of me from getting screwed for 500 bucks to change the damn fuse um, yeah th that was not a $500 job I promise you won't be calling that company back nice guy that came out but yeah that wasn't a $500 job alright well we've gone through the entire item list and fix the stuff in here they all have sound cues now for for that. So that, that should be fine. So now if we go in here and hit play, you see I just got the Roman guys. I took the, what I call the Seekers, I took them them out because I need to take some time. And I probably ought to go ahead and take out these guys as well. Um, I had this level nice and neat and clean. So... Items, map shit, other shit, rocks, trees, so all these 9mm rounds, 5.56 five, rounds, all this stuff. Um, all this is right click, move to items. Don't need to worry about the NPCs right now. So I'm going to take them out. And then I'm going to leave the nav mesh and stuff in here. Right click, move to map shit. See? World Outliner. Clean. I'm not going to mention any names, but people who leave this um, area right over here looking like dog shit. Yeah. See how neat and organized this is? Hey, I need to find the trees. Look, there's all the trees. I need the rocks. Oh, there's the rocks. 
I need the map shit. Oh, there's all the map shit right there. So, get organized. Stay organized. Be happy. Don't worry. Be crappy. Now, as much as I love the Cinti Studios, whoever's doing their maps, need to punch them in their testes a little bit, get them to uh, get back to getting organized. So, yeah, I was going to come over here and grab me an apple. So I just picked up 100 apples, or 99 apples. So now when you eat an apple, it's quiet. It's quiet. Consume the fuck out some apples. So now if you look under sounds, I have short a 10 right there. And then we have the cues. And I can actually come back over here and uncheck override attenuation because I have fixed it. They're running off of the short a 10. That's fine. Campfire is fine. Detach is fine. All of them are using this short range attenuation so that it's it's only going to affect close proximity. Unless you're standing next to somebody, you're not going to hear them drop an item. Um, yeah, you're not going to hear them eat. You're not going to hear them their, their weapon click because it's empty. Um, or they equip their weapon. You're not going to hear those sounds. The only sounds you're going to hear is gunshots and right now they're shorter than they were I've got an overriding attenuation on them but reload you shouldn't hear someone reload on the other side of the freaking map just verifying that I've got the attenuations applied to them and correct um, firing I'm actually going to override so it goes back to a little bit larger. I will make them work for longer ranges, but as of right now, the range for the gunfire is going to be short. I will make it louder and able to be heard from a farther distance later, but for right now, the most important thing was not hearing somebody eat across the frickin' map. Because they did all that by applying it to a sound file and now a sound cue. And the sound cue is what I had the attenuation applied to. So that should be this should be good to go. Save current. Save all. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and come back over here where I've got my current version of the survival demo it's actually kind of fun to play this but here's what I'm gonna do select all this and delete <gasps> oh no I just killed the entire project everything is gone not really um, this was just my uncompressed version and I am taking the RAR file that I have currently on lines that is all deleted. I haven't deleted it online yet, so if anybody is currently downloading it, you're safe for a little bit. Well, the reason why I emptied that folder out, that's my uncompressed version. Play sound at location um no you know you still want attenuation attenuation is different than location um you need the location so that you can you can fix your attenuation i i just confused my own self on that you picture you you drop this little item down okay if i walk over here and where this player start is and the sound happens there. Okay. 
place out a location, you need to get the the location from whatever it is that's initiating the sound. If it's a player, you need to get the actual um, location so you know where the location of the sound is. The sound attenuation um, then radiates from that location itself. Because if you just do play sound at location and you don't add an attenuation to it, then it's going to play at 000, zero, zero location on the map and it's going to be heard all around the entire map. Just like right now, whenever I go in here to play, I know it's kind of hear, hard to hear right now, but when you're in here playing, I've added some background sound of like birds chirping and, and stuff like that. That's play sound at location with no attenuation. You can hear it no matter where you are on the entire map, and that's what was happening was if I walked over here and picked up an apple, and chose to go ahead and eat said apple it didn't matter if I'm right here and you're right here next to me or if you're standing on the other side of the map way wonky wonky way over there at those trees you would still hear it just like you were standing next to me if you didn't have the attenuation set up so if you look at um, like the attach now there's a reason why I left on the fire override attenuation because this attenuation is actually the same as this one so I could come back in here until I actually create a new sound attenuation then um, uh, yeah and all I'd have to do is just come over here and create one uh, sounds and sound attenuation gunshot and then yeah if you just do play sound at location um, I'll show you what I do for an example on that so I'm just gonna save this and I'll come back and I'll, f I'll finish this part later I'm not so much worried about fixing the rest of it I got the eating was the one that was just killing me um, just to open up a uh, Like this player right here. Um, if I came in here and I did play sound at location, if I just did um, the click sound or whatever sound I choose or the death sound or what have you, if I just do it like this then you're gonna hear it across the entire map because a, I don't have a location, and B, I'm only playing a sound file. So, if instead I actually came down here and selected a sound cue, the sound cue, the reason why I'm doing that is, now you can, if you want to, say, if I did the click, I can actually hit this little button right here, open up my, my extra stuff here, and you have attenuation settings. I can then click on this, select my short attenuation or my gunshot attenuation that I just created and now it's going to have attenuation meaning it's going to allow me to either set a cone or a sphere or whatever the shape of how I want the sound to radiate and then how far it's going to be a full sound level and then if you're a little bit farther away it won't be as loud but you can still hear it so it's like a, a roll off on the volume level of the sound the farther away you get from it until you get to a certain point and you just can't hear it at all. So if you create a sound attenuation for your sound file, you can still do it this way by selecting your your attenuation here. Or you can go in and like I did and create a sound attenuation. And it, you can get a reference to your mesh whenever you're setting up that attenuation in here in your, your character blueprint or your NPC or whatever and you can get world location so uh, all I'm doing, no, you don't have to get specific to a, a certain bone just get um, a reference to your mesh and then from your mesh you need to drag off and get world location and then drag that over here to your location that way 
and then either pick your sound file you want, like your, your death sound, and then create a custom attenuation for it. Because if you just throw the sound out there like this, you're going to hear it across the entire map. And it's not going to be, it's no bueno, it's just, you know, not going to be right. So you either need to create your own custom sound cue, and create a custom sound cue, um, all you have to do is find where your sound file is. In this case, I've got click. Right-click on the sound file. Create cue. And there you go. It's done. Enter it. And before you enter anything else, you can actually select Override Attenuation. And manually give this your own attenuation level. That's not a problem, man. I, I tell you... I just got a, a new game a little while ago. I played for like 30 minutes, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to stream, because I, I had people wanting me to stream. So I was like, you know what? I love you guys. I love my community. and Except for some of you. Some of you I just don't like at all. In fact, some of you can just go go right to hell. But the rest of you, I love you. I love you guys, the rest. Mostly. <laughs> Especially when it gets cold. But yeah. <laughs> the attenuation distance your inner radius this is going to be how loud it's going to be bam that that right now sound and the fall off distance after this distance you're just not going to hear it at all so that's it you can just create your your sound cue that way and set up your attenuation right there in it i even almost love skippy he's spooky as fuck so you know but i still i like him he's like a brother to me but eh. I you know I finally broke down and I, I got um, the crew too. I figure I'm on Ubisoft's um, closed beta list, um, so I did closed beta for the crew too. I did open beta for it, so I figured you know what the hell, might as well. I like the game. It's just I couldn't see spending sixty bucks on any game whatsoever, and because I'm a cheap bastard. And my birthday is less than a month away. I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm getting it for me. And, you know, it's a fun game. It's a driving game. But you can drive cars, motorcycles, um, race cars of different types. You can do drifting. I don't. I'm old, and drifting means you're out of control. So <laughs> I don't get into the whole drifting thing. But you can do drag racing. You can do street racing, um, open wheels, you know, indie style cars, all different types of racing formats. But it's not just cars only. You got motorcycles. You got off-road stuff. You got jeeps and off-road um, tracks, and you got um, all kind of different speed boats and swamp buggy boats and. Uh, Air, airplanes, you can race airplanes. You can get a P-51 Mustang or a Spitfire and whatnot. It's it's pretty cool. If you haven't seen it, then it's worth checking out. It is sixty bucks. However, however, before you you hand over Ubisoft sixty bucks, carry your butt to Green Mountain. Uh, not Green Mountain. Green Mountain Barrels. Hey, yeah, they make great barrels. Um, no, carry your behind to um, Green Man Gaming dot com and that's actually where I went there for it they got division 2 is cheaper than you can get from Ubisoft um, I just typed in the crew 2 and the standard edition 54 bucks you save a couple dollars so but a couple dollars is a couple dollars all right, if you're good on the sound cue stuff, I'm actually going to go ahead and get rid of this out of this and undo the ones I just had to show you on the other sound cue thing. I don't need that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick break and because I've been at this for two hours on the this, this stream, um, what I'm going to do during this break is actually I'm going to go ahead and package this up this version of it um, since the majority of the sound attenuation should now be fixed so what I'm going to do is I'm going to package this and I'm going to go ahead and upload this to Google Drive 
and I will update the version that's on BBG demos. And for anybody who is on the East Coast United States uh, Steam region, this this game and all of my games and my simple multiplayer template that I created over a year ago is based off of Steam architecture. So it is going to require you to be running Steam in the background. You see I have Steam running back there. Uh, and you need to be in the same Steam region with whoever's hosting the game. I actually had... Um, somebody who did some VPN stuff and this morning we, we did some testing and he is in Germany so he actually was able to spoof his way in but you know if you can figure it out you just have to deal with the, the latency issues but yeah or if you want to get the game it's free on my discord channel jump on there download it and you can play with yourself I mean play by yourself or you can share it with any of your friends and you guys can play you can do some building pvp whatever else you know this is just a quick build demo i spend more time yakking than i do working so i'm going to go ahead and package this and again all i'm doing since i don't have a steam app id and now here's something i want to say also really quickly is i plan on buying a steam app id um very soon so that means I'm going to have a product on Steam available on Steam soon. So I'll discuss that more later. That that whole venture scares the crap out of me. So, but since if you don't have a Steam app ID, then you're going to have to package as a. It's only a hundred bucks now. It used to be more of a headache, but yeah, I'll get into that into another discussion. But I will have something else available on Steam or, or I want to incorporate this game mode but yeah I'll do a whole nother stream just dedicated to what I'm I don't know why I'm looking at myself on on the left monitor here that's why I'm you see this this side of my face you know this 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 side over here is not my my beautiful side this this is my beautiful side so um you can tell by the rate that I am talking faster that my nicotine levels are dropping. My e-cig is charging, so yeah. But yeah, just I'm gonna go ahead and package this, and I will get this uploaded to um, Google Drive as soon as it is done. It's gonna take about 40 minutes for me to upload, so during that time, uh, I can be answering questions and stuff like that on Discord but I won't be available on voice and I won't be streaming during that time because I have really crappy internet so and I can't get any better in this neighborhood I, I have the best that I can get and it's because we're still on twisted pair we cannot get fiber out here the none of the local ISPs will will run fiber here so this is doing its thing it'll be done packaging here within the next eight to ten minutes and then once I get this uploaded, I will refresh the link that's in the BBG demo section of the Discord channel with the current link for the newest version. But if anybody wants to, to chat on Discord, I will be watching the uh, the text chat there. As I, I don't know if you guys know, know, but I am running three monitors. I've got the um, left monitor I usually keep like UE4 running, my stream software, um, my uh, like other stuff runs over here on, on that monitor and the main monitor is where I do all my working the right monitor is where I have my discord and yeah so I'm constantly juggling with three and three monitors at all times and I'm to the point where I'm thinking about adding a fourth monitor in I did have a fourth monitor on here and it was underneath my desk, which was a reason for me to keep my desk clean. Uh, I have a glass top desk. So with the monitor mounted underneath the desk, I could actually just look in front of my keyboard and see stuff on that monitor. You know, I can keep notes or whatever else on that monitor and then could be doing something on the, the other three monitors. So it was nice having it down there. It was a 23 inch monitor. Um, the other three monitors, the main three, are identical Samsung units and they're 32 inches each 
if I stretch my arms all the way out, I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but I got my arms stretched all the way out, and I can't touch the edges of both monitors. Um, I don't know. I never package in 32-bit. I always package in 64-bit, just simply because 99.9% um, .9 of all computers now are 64-bit. Um, if there's still people out there, I, I'm still running Windows 7, but I'm on 64-bit. And while I'm waiting on this to package here, and I'll let it finish packaging and I'll answer a few questions, but, uh, uh, yeah, the, the yellow means that there's some internal errors in their asset pack, and it's not able to find certain things, so that's on their end, it's not on mine. It doesn't affect the playability of it, it still works. Um... Yeah, the reason why I don't do 32-bit is, again, is, is there's just not enough people that I know that run 32-bit. And if you're running 32-bit, sorry, but, you know, I package all this stuff for 64-bit. So, but yeah, somebody made a comment to me um, yesterday, I think it was, or this morning. Hell, I don't know. I can't keep up with days of the week or time of day anymore. Um, why I'm still using Windows 7. Oop, this is almost done. And it's because the configuration of the hardware that I'm running that everything just works perfectly together. And yes, I know that by running Windows 7, I can't not run the newest version of DirectX. I'm only on DirectX 11. Can't run 12 and all the fancy new cool stuff that comes out for these new fancy 10 series video cards. I'll have a 10 series video card. Um, Basic system specs build is successful. Lovely. So, um, I know I, I should have already made sure that everything was saved and everything is saved, but again, manually saving is good. Basic system specs. Um, I'm running uh, MSI A99 uh, gaming video card and uh, the video card on uh, motherboard. I'm running a AMD FX8350 8-core CPU. I'm running 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Not 4, not 5, but 3. DDR3, 16 gigabytes. Bear with me. Video card. I am running a GTX 1060 6 gig super clocked. Um, it's I said that was EVGA brand. Um, what am I missing? Uh, Western Digital Caviar Blue hard drive. It's a it's a hard drive. It's I'm not running SSDs because my motherboard does not support the little micro SSDs. The little, nice little card ones that you plug in that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm not worried about it. Yes, I could you know run a, a SATA two or whatever to it, but whatever. Um, getting ready to now. I do have a one terabyte hard drive and a half terabyte hard drive. Um, I will be adding in another. No, I don't make my own characters and animations. Um, I use Cindy Studios assets. Um, I started using the Cindy Studio assets, and I'm happy with them. Animations. Um, all right, Chris. We'll we'll see. You, but um, if you're not familiar with running the the Cindy Studio assets, I mean, I'm running Polygon or low poly assets, and I'm quite happy with them. I like that look and that feel. Now, I'm not even sure if this is the right project here, but um, kind of screwing around with uh, theming out my menu system to be a interactive menu. So instead of having the normal menu system, you know, this is the mini. This isn't the standard Polygon characters. This is the Polygon minis. But essentially, you can, if you want to go play a Wild West themed game, you come to this section here. Or oh, hey, let's go play a pirate game. Let's go over here to this section. Or this one's World War II. Or this one's modern. Or this is sci-fi. You go to these different sections, and then you're confronted with the um, the menus at that point. So this is I'm still working on this. But this is the Polygon Minis. There's also um, 
the the regular full size polygon stuff. Um, just as an example, like uh, the the BBG demo section has the TB4 products and some of the other ones that are like. Uh, let's see, this is the Western. Just waiting for it to load here. Um, so, with this, um, this is the normal polygon characters. This is the Wild West set. Thank you for the sub. Really like these. Um, this map is a little on the bright side. I didn't take the time to tone down the brightness on it. It's painfully bright. But this is all Cindy Studios. This is the the West set, the Wild West set. I think it's just called Western. And all I did was added the basic animation system to it. Um, this one I did not make it into a shooter. Um, however, um, shit, which ones that I did make it into a uh, shooter? The town. I really love the the new town one. I did the TB4 set, the the try before you buy. They're called TB4s. Uh, these were done for City Studios for them to sh for, for you to look at and see if you want this type of stuff before you buy it. Um, and it just includes my basic multiplayer system, so you can, you know, get your friends to join you, so you don't have to keep playing with yourself, I mean, by yourself. Um, and all I did was just basically animated the characters, so you could walk around and check things out. I didn't spend a lot of time doing super animations and stuff like that. But, yeah. I've actually got another project that I was working on with this. You can walk downstairs, walk into the living room, and there's a TV here. I actually made it to where that TV actually is playing a YouTube video, or I can have it playing a regular video. And with the sound attenuation of the regular video playing, you come right over here, and you can no longer hear the TV, but you can see it playing. But as soon as you get over to this room, that's where the attenuation picks up, and now you can start hearing the TV. So I've got it set up. You can see that there's three of the same woman here, and uh, I've got it set up to where all of the characters, whenever you first begin play, they're random. Never even noticed there was clothes in the dryer there. Excuse me, am I in your way, Huzzy? But yeah, I was just trying to um, to give people an idea of what these asset packs look like, and they even had on and one of them. I made the ceiling fan where it actually spins. Oh yeah, it's easy if you're using just the regular videos, but um, doing the YouTube videos is also easy, but there's no sound attenuation for it. You can't do attenuation for a YouTube video. Not that I've been able to figure out, and according to the one person that I talked to from Epic Games, you can't even play a YouTube video in, in uh, the game. It's like, really? You can't? Here, watch this video. <laughs> I've already done it. I just can't get the attenuation to work. <laughs> so apparently I was doing something that um, I was told doesn't work. Just looking to see what else we got here. Um... Pirates. I love the pirate theme too. Sorry, I'm totally not even playing onto the one we just were working on in the other uh, video. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this is an unfinished project that I was kind of playing around with. Hell, I don't even remember how to draw my weapon. R key. So you, I, I really don't like the animations because it looks like he's trying to squat and, and take a dump. So when I, the, the idle animation with the weapon drawn is really kind of dorky. I had it fixed and then forgot what I did with it. Oh, 
there's a bad guy. And I was converting this over to work with the uh, the Cindy Studios assets, which you can see the the the. the I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I guarantee it. I beat him. So he had a halberd. Who told you to bring a halberd to a frickin' sword fight? Let me get my butt kicked. Just because. Oh crap! Get double teamed. So yeah, this was an unfinished project that I was kind of screwing around with. But yeah, for the um, the Sydney Studios assets, man, these things kick ass. No, I'm done fighting you guys. So, that was the Western, that was Pirate, that was one of the Pirates. That wasn't the only version. So I was doing that, that one, the, the swashbuckling thing, but I ended up scrapping that project because I wanted to go more towards a, um, a different style of thing, so I went to the dungeons. So this is the other one that I was working on with the pirate theme. I, I get started on these projects and get sidetracked with some of the other projects. So in this one we've got the, um, the bowling map is not done yet. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's go uh, go into it. I was setting up a bowling alley, and the whole point was to be able to knock it down here to knock down the pins. So this is totally unfinished. Um, <laughs> the pirate map and then there was another test map that I was working on. But I also had another one that was a billiards table, a giant billiards table. This one was one I was setting up to where um, I actually had the cannons working and you could actually shoot the cannons back and forth, but I didn't get the all the stuff done with it. And I turned on the water to where you could walk into the water, but I did not set up the um, the breathing thing. I didn't get all that done. But I'm still working on the gun. You know, didn't have all the um, see. The musket still needed a lot of work. So, so many half finished projects. Not even half finished on some of them. Um, let's see what else we got here before I skip into actually what we were working on. I got some Star Wars stuff that I was working on as well, but you know what? There's enough people out there building Star Wars fan-based games. Didn't need any more. Just kind of a waste. There's just so many of them that are out there. It's hard to make a good Star Wars game. And Sony made a big mockery of it anyway, so... Uh, TV4... Hell, I had some shooter games, too. Um... I have no idea where they are. So, yeah. Um, let's get back to what we were talking about for the other one. That survival demo. As I mentioned before, as soon as you finish packaging it, it's going to... I put it... I make a folder in my... on my hard drive. You know, I just right-click, new folder, and then... Whenever I do that, I call it um, whatever, and then if that's the name of the project that I'm doing, then I will just tell it to package to that location. But in this case, I told it to package to Survival Demo. It creates a folder inside there called Windows No Editor. Let's open that folder. You can see it's right there. Windows No Editor is inside there. So you go into Windows No Editor and you left click, drag all the stuff together here. So you got them all selected. And then you left click, drag, and drop onto the root folder of Survival Demo. And now you can delete the Windows No Editor folder. And now you can actually right click on here where it's 
on the left in the um, the main column here. Right click and add to survival demo RAR. Bang, just that easy. And then you upload that survival demo RAR file, a RAR file, and there you go. RAR you go. So we let this go ahead and package up, and I will get a file size for that, which is going to be roughly around 480 megabytes. So knowing my junk internet, that's probably going to take about 40 minutes. <sighs> yeah, we finally broke the 666 subscriber mark. <laughs> kind of hung there at 666 for about a week, and it's like, somebody please subscribe so we can get off that number. Skippy may love it, but damn it, I don't. All right, so that's packaged up. Then I'll come over here. I have a lot of shit in here. Scroll down. It's a Rebel demo. 483 megabytes. No problemo. So let's take a look at it really quickly. So inside your folder where you extract it to, you get survival demo. Double click on it, and then bang. Everything is all temporary. This is demo stuff. It's just for for testing purposes. We hit multiplayer, host, call it whatever, and make. There we go. So now we have the new crafting bench, pickaxe, repair hammer. I've added these three recipes here. I have removed the requirements from the metal bed so that you have to make it at the crafting bench. So you can craft it anywhere now because the crafting bench shit was broken. Um, and it should be fixed now when you eat an apple. Somebody in West Cleveland won't hear you eat your freaking apple. So, I am going to go ahead and get off of this stream. You see escape menu works. And you hit it, exit game. I'm going to go ahead and start uploading this to Google Drive. And as soon as it is available, I will let everybody know in Discord in the public lobby, and I will post a link to it directly in the BBG demo section of my Discord channel. Alrighty, I'm going to take a break, and I'll be back at my computer in about five minutes. But while it's uploading, I will you know, be able to type questions back and forth on Discord. So catch you up with me there, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.